So I'm Dylan, I'm the captain for Team Winning Habit. I'm go by iWalk. Yeah, I'm Robin, also known as Ice Dagger from Team Ice Cold. I am Sam Johnson, I'm Explosive Fury in game. Um, my team is Team Envy. Last year we placed third, which was probably what we expected to be honest. Uh, we came second last time. It was kind of disappointing. Hopefully we'll do better this time, but you never know. Well, last year we started off a bit iffy. We got knocked down to the lower bracket in like the third game we played, but we, we made it through. We made it through the finals and we ended up winning 2 1 in the best of three. So this is the second, technically third, but Compsoft Dota 2 tournament, the first one for this year. Uh, alrighty guys, uh, thank you for tuning into the stream here today. Now this of course is the Comsoc Dota 2 LAN, my name is Rod Hunter, I'll be with you here for the day. For the day. Just a quick update, uh, we are trying to get the first inaugural game underway, it was meant to start at 10, but uh, as every LAN in the history of LAN seems to do, uh, we're not going to be starting on time. We just played against a team called QED. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty good game. We won in, I think, 15 minutes. The last game was a bit of a warm-up. It was like, had a, bit of, had a bit of fun with it. Went to Luna Jungle and a last pick techies for the safe lane carry. Um, I played in Poker Mid, which is probably a bit of my specialty, but I kind of got shut down. Oh, it's electronic sports. I mean, that's what the name is. Um, it's essentially similar to, like, football and rugby in, in a way that the tournaments are held. I mean, you've got teams that compete in leagues year-round. Although I feel like they still should be separate. I mean, in the end, sports is sports and games are... Uh, I don't, I don't want to say games, but it's, it's just a huge social stigma with it, I think. I mean, three years ago, esports was pretty much non-existent. It, it was just starting. There were tiny tournaments going nowhere, pretty much. But now I see uh, I think over the next few, two or three years, it'll kind of decide whether esports is going to blow up or die down a little bit and just stay about where it is. The smaller tournaments are also getting good prize pools. It, I know that TI4 was streamed onto ESPN last year, and I saw a lot of angry, um, a, a Reddit post about lots, with lots of angry Twitter posts saying that they didn't, they didn't go, to, you know, go to watch ESPN to see games. So I guess it's not likely to happen anytime soon. If all goes well, I could see in the next two or three years esports getting twice as big as it is now, if not bigger. But I would say if it doesn't, it probably won't get too far. Like there'll be a lot of more, a lot more coverage on it. I mean, people will move towards being like, "Oh, esports is actually a big thing." And I mean, if you can get more coverage on it, more people will play, and it'll just grow bigger. Easy, because it's the best of one. Uh, so as a result, AOC is going to drop into the lower bracket. Uh, they're going to play. They're going to finish out playing the games later on. Ice, uh, ice cold. They move further on into the tournament. It went okay. We won 27 minutes. No real troubles, I guess. Not very well. No. <laughs> Uh, we lost, yeah. I think it's the draft, yeah. We don't really know how to draft because we haven't practiced enough, so yeah, we can definitely improve on that. Yeah, I mean, we didn't play that well either, but yeah, mainly the draft, I'd say. Yeah, dra drafting is essentially um, the stage at the start of the game where you pick the heroes and you ban out heroes that you don't want to burst. I, I guess like drafting is like it's a game within a game, like it's a game within itself. As the game progresses, if you're playing in like best of threes or you're watching people's other uh, other games, you can ban out heroes that they're really good at, yeah. and so that they have to pick other heroes and other strategies. So it pretty much creates a, a dynamic where the game changes over a, a certain amount of time. Go back on the anti mage, and that's GG. Beyond. Oh, how did they... That was a game of back and forth! But Team Envy, they continue! In the upper bracket, they beat... Please, please, Mafia, who... <laughs> Far too stressful! Oh, Skype was kind of like, 
not working so well, so we had two players that couldn't actually hear what I was saying. So the miscommunication in like three fights in a row was kind of crap, and we didn't actually realize until I started yelling, and they actually started realize I was realizing I was talking. So we got there in the end, at least. Oh, it must have been about two years ago. I was, oh, what? My brother's flatmate was playing with one, uh, one guy who knew a few people in the competitive scene and he asked me to play in his team. I had no idea what I was really getting into. I mean, generally it was like I'd come on on Saturday night and Sunday night and I'd play three or four games with them as a team. And we started joining Australian tournaments and we did pretty well in them at the start. I mean, we were under the name Rest Gaming. Shortly, well, maybe not shortly after I started Dota, but maybe a year after, I started going to the Dota All-Stars forums and I, I guess I managed to get into the competitive Dota section and I watched a few replays and I really liked what I see. And ever since then it's been like, even if I'm not in a team, there'll be players that ask for a stand-in or just for you to play pubs with them and it's like, you get to know a lot of the top players. I mean, the competitive scene in Australia doesn't move too fast. I mean, generally it's just Oz vs Oz. I mentioned I was already uh, quite a competitive person, so I wanted to become good at the game and this was the way to do it, I feel. And I guess I found some good teammates along the way and we just, every now and again, if we feel like it, we enter some tournaments and play. And it's always, it's always nice to know that you're playing at a high level. Pitch is gonna go down and this, my friends, is GG. Ice cold, just like last year, are gonna find themselves in the final of the Comsoc Dota 2 LAN here at the University of Canterbury. Ah. And actually, they're just ice cold and just. Ice cold I used to be really bad at handling losing. I'd get kind of angry. Depending on the situation, I'm gen I'm generally pretty calm about it. I mean, I will generally play everything for fun. Like, the competitiveness is what makes it fun in a way. Lately, I've mellowed out a bit. <laughs> in terms of actual competitive games, it's okay as long as you get something out of it. You know, you gotta le if you learn from your mistakes. I mean, if I lose because someone's been very, like, very poor sportsmanship or someone has been annoying me the entire game or something and then they like come up to me at the end of the game and they're like oh man you suck sort of thing I'm generally not the happiest chappy but I'm not one to get horribly mad I mean I play for fun I always have played for fun and I mean shit happens Anyway, Alan Chen calls good game, well played, and Envy are going into the finals to take on Ice Cold in a best of three. They beat FHRTP in this lower bracket final. Good luck to them. Good. good. They got smashed by Ice Cold, so if, uh, remember this is a replay of last Comsoc Dota 2's land final. Uh, Ice Cold versus uh, Envy round two. Last time Envy got the better of them in the best of three. Yep. Is it going to be the same this time or is um, the results that's happened earlier in the tournament going to uh, provide some sort of indication as to how the series is going to go? I guess we'll just have to find out. I mean what strategies do we have? We didn't practice. Yeah, this guy needs to we we just play our game. If we do it, right? We're gonna play. But if we don't, good luck to us. We'll try win. He is gonna be glimpsed back in. He's gonna be less but he's gonna dark pick it quite nicely. But he's gonna go down. No buybacks at all on the envy side, and that's gonna be GG in game one. What a game! GG comes out from its. Blows the fury. Yeah, something a bit different. A Tekis pick. It worked out for the first 30 minutes, as you expect Tekis to do. Yep. So I mean, I, I never expected us to do amazingly against them, but take, almost taking that first game in the finals with the Tekis. That would, have, that, that would have been amazing. We obviously did really 
have a good I good enough idea on how to play against the techies in an actual game. He's gonna walk into it. Oh! Whoa! Killing spree comes out there for the techies. Well, well drafted by them again, and Tiki's almost won it for us at least. I feel like they got to the point where they knew that they couldn't actually beat us in a in a standard game. So they obviously went for the Tiki pocket strat in the previous game, and then they went for a tiny wisp in the second game. So the Comsoc Dota 2 Lamp 2015 Epic goes game. Epic Games, it goes to Ice Cold. Uh, are the winners, uh, they get revenge for last year's Comsoc uh, land final, defeats to Envy 2-0. Um, I never really expected to beat the Ice Cold lineup. I knew four of the five players from either previous tournaments, previous pubs, or just because I knew them in real life. Um, and the skill level difference between my team and theirs was decent. I mean, they were a much stronger team. And then last game was reasonably easy. I feel like we committed our Abaddon mid to stack with the Shadow Fiend to protect him from the Tiny Wisp because we expected him to go mid. Playing the Tiny Wisp, I don't think me and me and Josh have ever lost that lane. Especially against a hero as squishy as Shadow Fiend. But I just had no idea what to do. Like, I, uh, with the Abaddon just sitting on the high ground, it was just like, I've never versed it. Like, literally, I don't think I've ever versed it in the 5,000 odd games I've played. And it was just like, I, have, I just got lost. And that's kind of it. So, they outplayed us, definitely. And then they called GG.